Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, it's going to be an exciting weekend this weekend. We're going to talk a little bit about Decision Day halfway through the video. So exciting slash stressful. <laughs> I know. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Time some down below, like always. But we're going to start with kind of a follow up. I don't know if I would, you know, I'd call it a follow up from our last video, but I mean the news that everyone heard and everyone i guess was kind of anticipating over the last couple weeks month that you know it's officially that that ali and ashlyn have uh separated and and filed for divorce i just hate it i know and randomly sarah will be like i still can't believe it i still can't I mean, because it's hard to believe just because you know for so long they were ali and ash you know i know it's just it's just sad. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to talk about something that kind of came up in the last day or day and a half because I actually saw a TikTok about this and then I, it got me thinking um, because, as we know, we read from the People Magazine article that uh, Ashton officially filed for divorce in September, but it came out now. And a lot of people were saying this is a weird timing for that to come out because it's right before Ali's Ali's last match, possibly ever. Yeah. It's it's right before you know, all the celebrations for her and you know publicity and honoring um, Ali Krieger. She had her name in Times Square earlier. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing. I mean, everyone's posting about yeah, it. Yeah, everyone's posting about it. And you know, everyone thought the timing was a little off. However. I was on the opposite opinion. I was on the opinion that the timing was purposeful because the questions of where Ash would be would be more intense if she wasn't around. The questions would have been right. more. So I was more of that opinion because it made sense to me. But something came out, this is what the TikTok was about, that made me think, oh, maybe it's a little more... What's the word? Sinister than I thought. <laughs> Dramatic. Dramatic, yeah. I guess. But I'm first going to read this. Uh, somebody left this comment, and then um, we're going to go from there. Divorce sucks, but as for the timing of the People article goes, it looks suspiciously like Ashlyn was behind it in a mean-spirited way. Allie was supposed to be was supposed to do the pre-match press conference today for Gotham in recognition of her final regular season home game this weekend but then the divorce news broke just hours before the press conference and at the last minute gotham announces that ally wouldn't be doing the press conference that sounds like she got blindsided no nobody schedules a press release about their divorce right before they're supposed to give a press conference also if you read the people are mag people magazine article 100% of the quotes in it are from Ashlyn, nothing at all from Allie. Maybe I'm cynical, but that feels like Ashlyn give, gave People Magazine an exclusive on the condition they released it today. Remember, Ashlyn still works for Gotham FC, so she definitely would have known that the press conference was happening. It's a damn shame, but you can let, but you can bet the Gotham fans are going to cheer even louder for Allie this weekend to support her. So yeah, so we read that, I read that, and I still thought, you know, thought, yeah, that's very viable. You know, it's not like, you know, obviously picking sides, no one's picking a side per se, but the timing is just, the timing of everything seemed a little weird. Okay, then this is what kind of made me think, hmm. So as we know, uh, Ali has a brother who is social media person himself. You know, Kyle Krieger is a social media, he has like millions of followers on like Instagram. He, um, he has a Twitter. And, you know, he has he has never shied away from spe speaking freely about things. He on his Twitter, tw someone tweeted something about this situation because it's big on Twitter. You know, people are just sharing their feelings. Mm -hmm. And someone said in reference to what, what was going on with Ali Nash, they said this coming out right before her right before her retirement game is foul. That's what the person said, which a lot of people can say, yeah, the time is crazy. And then Kyle, this is what Kyle said in response. He goes, and sadly, by design. So that makes me think mm -hmm. that um, I take that as it was designed to be leaked on purpose to ruin to ruin something. That's how I take it. However, you could actually take that like by design to show everyone they're broken up. You could you could actually take it both ways, but I'm actually taking it ruin the moment. Yeah, I mean, that's it's very vague. So who really knows what it means? And it might not be Ashlyn. That's not what I'm here to say. I'm not here to say it was Ashlyn. I'm just saying when you're a celebrity, there's a lot of people, pies, and the, there's a lot of people behind the scenes doing a lot of different things. Well, you know, lawyers are pretty skeevy. Yeah. They serve divorce papers at the worst <laughs> possible moment. You all saw what happened to Olivia Wilde, right? And, yes. And Jason Sudeikis. I don't think, I don't know. Oh, wait, that was not divorce papers. That was. Child support. Child. So, I mean, sometimes lawyers 
people, publicists, celebrities, have people maybe even behind the scenes to saying, we got to do this. You know what I mean? So it yeah, might not be them. Wild stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of the story that Kyla did say, yes, sadly, by design, this was happening on purpose, purposefully timing. Like I said, you could still take that wanted to get it out there before all the questions came. You could still take that like that. But I'm kind of taking it the more the other way. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, sad situation all the way around. You know, we're not going to talk about it here. There is rumors out there about a lot of different things going on. Um, we're not going to mention anything. <laughs> so, no. And, like, if you go on Twitter or TikTok, you'll find the rumors. But Don't just, go on there. <laughs> but it's just sad. But that kind of leads me to what we're going to talk about now is what uh, – what that comment actually said, you know, people at the Gotham game are going to be cheering a lot for Allie this weekend. Um, and Sarah and I, because Gotham is our team, it's my mother freaking team, we will be cheering because on Sunday, last video, I said it was on Saturday for some reason. I don't know why I said that. And I also called it Judgment Day. <laughs> I mean, it feels like it, right? I got everything wrong. <laughs> it happens. Um, decision Day is going to be on Sunday. All the teams play at the same time, which is, I believe, a first for the last day of the season okay it's crazy like who do you watch i mean obviously we're watching gotham because let's go gothy yeah um but we'll we'll probably have like we'll probably have like five devices going on at the same yeah, time yeah we like should. the ipad like watching <laughs> every single game and then we want to watch a basketball game at 2 p.m so there's gonna be a lot going on so every team has something to win or lose pretty much except for the last two teams who aren't in the playoffs which is current and Chicago Red Stars. They're completely out. Wave and Portland, they are playing for the Shield. So there's a lot of teams that are, the yes. two teams that I am really gonna be on the lookout for are Gotham, our team. Obviously. Um, I guess I'll start with them <laughs> because for Gotham, they're, they're in one of those places at the top that I if they win, they're in the playoffs. So if they win, they're in the playoffs. So hopefully they win. Now, they might, if they don't win, they can still get in the playoffs, but it's going to be a little bit harder. Gotham has a more comfortable scenario to get, has a comfortable scenario to get into the playoffs because they're going to play current, which current is mathematically eliminated. Uh, so, so you think, well, they don't have anything to lose, but it's kind of fun knocking a team out a little bit as the other team. Yeah. yeah, that is a little fun. It's a home game for Gotham, which will be really exciting. So, uh, so fans better show up. Yes. This is the thing, though. If Gotham tie or if they lose, I don't know the other mechanisms in play for them to not be in the playoffs. Well, I, so how about Gotham just wins? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling great about it. Especially if, if it's Allie's last game. That's the thing. They're going to yeah. freaking win. And then it's not going to be her last game. Yeah, so. exactly. That's even more so why... Gotham needs to win. Allie's last game can't be her last game. Exactly. It's we, we, I want them so badly to win the championship. Obviously, they not can't win the shield, but for the, them to win the championship. Yeah, and I'm sorry, everybody who's at that game, even if they're rooting for the other team, you have to root for Gotham and you have to root for <laughs> Gotham. Yes. Okay, just make it happen, please. Yes. <laughs> the other team I'm really rooting for is O.L. Reign. Obviously, I, I'm, I, I'm not done watching Megan Rapinoe. I'm, I'm officially not done watching her. Yeah double two retirements we can't yes. accept or handle they are playing chicago which is also a good scenario for them because chicago is not played that well this season season it does say i'm reading here it's hard to bet on chicago team that for understandable reasons just wants this season to be over with the reigns attack has grounds to a halt one goal scored in four games and it's been 10 games since this team has scored more than one goal in a match but the red stars have the worst defense in the nwsl by a wide margin a win guarantees some kind of playoff spot and if any of the teams on 30 points gets a draw the postseason is coming to lumen field oh that'd be awesome yeah so obviously we want them to win um there are scenarios for both teams if they draw or maybe even if they lose but i'm gonna have to wait till sunday to actually figure out those scenarios because based on what i'm reading here i'm still confused, confused about all this <laughs> so Very i'm just confusing. hoping for a gotham win and an ol rain when i am not done watching megan rapino i'm in i'm in denial that she's not gonna play anymore um it Sunday will be a very exciting day. We will be watching. I'm sure everyone will be watching. Um, and uh, the playoffs, I'm going to be completely honest. As long as Gotham and O.L. Reign are in the playoffs, those are the two teams I'm really rooting for. So 
yeah, those are the teams I'm just rooting for. You know, I'm team everybody, but those are my two teams. So <laughs> well, I'm going to make you a shirt that says team everybody. And especially this whole, you know, this whole thing with Allie, hopefully, you know, it doesn't hinder her play. You know, the fact that they did cancel a press conference and things like that, that has to kind of shake you, rattle you a little bit about timing and everything. But it's just kind of like to get this win for her, it will probably, I mean, hopefully that's all she's focused on right now because, uh, you know. Yeah. And like I said, this isn't against, this is like, I'm not on Team Alley, Team Ashlyn, because we don't know the situation, but like We're I said. We're team everyone. Yeah, team <laughs> <laughs> But when you do get divorced, um, there's, there's natural factions that will happen, um, even with people in real life, you know what I mean? So what does everyone think? What does everyone think? Who is who is watching on Sunday? Who's your team? Put your team down below who you're rooting for. The only two teams that really don't have too much of a stake in it are um, Current and Chicago. So, I mean, but it is really fun to kind of be a, a heartbreaker, I would say, you know. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.